in one, which is that if we are able to unite in a constructive way against the BJP in a number of seats, I am very confident we can bring them down below the majority mark because in 2019 they did so well that it will be difficult for them to match that target. Remember, in Congress got zero seats in Haryana, zero in Rajasthan, one in Madhya Pradesh, one in Bihar. Uh, we just had a, and, and only one in Karnataka. So there were a number of states where we did our worst ever performance and we are definitely going to do better this time in all those states. Similarly, if you look at uh, Himachal, uh, if you look at Madhya Pradesh, I'm confident we're going to get a few unexpected seats. Karnataka, we're going to get more than uh, a handful because we are the government and we're very popular there. I'm And Telangana, we've now come to power. There's a good groundswell of support. I'm sure we will do very much better than 2019 in a number of states. So if you put all that together and then you have in those states where the opposition vote was divided, if the opposition comes together, uh, Maharashtra is a very good place, uh, Bihar also, uh, we may well find that we can bring the BJP to a level where their continuation in government is not possible. That's the logical analysis. Ultimately, logic is not the whole answer. The people have to decide. In democracy, we leave it to the people to vote and to do what's in the best interest of the country. Sir, PM